The purpose of this video is to walk through some of the settings available with 2D Slope Control. To enter the Settings menu, we will scroll down with our soft keys until Settings is highlighted with a yellow box around it. We will then select the check mark and enter the Settings menu. The first setting we will cover is Mainfall Offset. Mainfall Offset compensates for the density of the soil that the machine is running in. With the Mainfall Offset setting highlighted yellow, we will hit the check mark and then once in this menu, we can use the arrow soft keys to scroll up or down to adjust this setting, or I can hit the check mark and then go over to the SSM to enter my numbers over there. For this example, I will enter 0 .032 using the SSM, and we will see the numbers populate accordingly. We then hit the check mark to confirm our number. What this number actually represents is how far above the track plane the blade is going to be. So if the tracks on the machine are sinking into the material, that's how much it is going to raise the blade above the material. So it is intended to make up for discrepancies as the machine is sinking into the ground to adjust our main fall percentage of slope. Selecting the far left back arrow will return us to our full menu of available settings. We will now go over our next setting, which is blade response. Blade response is how fast the machine is going to react to a command from the automatic system. So once I select blade response, again using the check mark, 5 is going to be our default setting from the factory. From there, using our arrow keys, we can go all the way up to 9 for a fast response. We can go all the way down to 1 for a slow response. So the setting range is from 1 to 9. We will go ahead and put our blade response back to the default setting of 5. Again, from the factory, 5 will be the default setting, which will be the all-around good response for normal operation, but the response rate can be adjusted up or down a bit to adjust how fast the machine is going to react to a command from the automatic system. To return to our settings list, we will hit our back arrow. Our next menu item is square blade. Typically, where we would use this is for calibration when we want to calibrate the geometry of our blade. What this setting is going to do is square our blade in regard to our rotation or angle of the blade. By hitting the check mark, it will prompt a warning that states selecting this item will command the blade to the calibrated squared position. Select OK to confirm. By arrowing over and hitting the check mark for OK, the blade will square its angle on its own. Next, match slope. What match slope does is if I set my blade down on the ground to match an existing slope, it is going to populate the cross slope and main fall into our target screen. So if we go back to our main run screen on the right hand side, we have our current target slopes and the left side shows our live values of the blade. So now if we go back in and select match slope, it is going to match where our blade is currently at and populate these numbers for our new target values on the right side of our screen. There is also a shortcut for match slope. So if I adjust my blade's main fall and cross slope, as we can see reflected on the left side of our screen, and now if we press and hold our bottom right button on the joystick, this is our match slope shortcut. So now by doing this shortcut, we see our targets on the right side of our screen changed to 3.6% for our cross slope, and 1.1% for our main fall. Our next setting is flip slope mode. What flip slope does for the operator is when I'm making multiple passes, and let's say I want to turn around at the end of the pass, and I have my blade at a positive 3% cross slope, now I want the water to flow all the way across the project at a 3% slope. I don't want to make a V-ditch, and I don't want to make an inverted V-shape, so I have to flip that slope when turning around at the end of a pass. So as shown on the screen in this example, we have it set where we are going to flip both our cross slope and our main fall, but we can adjust this setting to which one we want to flip. We can select to flip the cross slope only, flip the main fall only, or to flip both. So using our arrow keys and check mark, let's change it to only flip main fall. Now when we go back to our main run screen, we can see by our indicator towards the bottom of the screen for flip slope that only the main fall will be flipped based on only the main fall indicator being shown. 
Now if we re-enter our settings menu and return to our flip slope mode setting, if we now select to flip both cross slope and main fall, now with that selected, when we return to our main run screen, we can see that we have both the main fall and cross slope indicators shown in our flip slope section of the screen. Now we have a shortcut button on our right hand joystick for flip slope. By pressing and holding our top right button on the joystick, we will flip our slope. So let's focus our attention on the right side of our run screen and the current target values that we have entered. Now we're going to press and hold our top right button for our flip slope shortcut and we will see our positive 3.6% and positive 1.1% turn into a negative 3.6 and a negative 1.1%. Now we can see these numbers change from a positive to a negative. If we press and hold our top right shortcut key again, we will see our main fall and cross slope numbers again flip back to positive. Next, we have the ability to enable and disable our cross slope and main fall individually. What this means is that if I disable the main fall, now the machine will control the cross slope, but I would manually operate the main fall of the blade. So by using our arrow keys to scroll down and our check mark to select and make a change, we will disable our main fall. Now when we go back to our main run screen, we can see that our main fall is disabled and grayed out, but our cross slope is still engaged. So the operator would manually control the main fall of our blade up and down as needed, but the machine will automatically control the cross slope.